In this tutorial, we will go through the radial and linear gradient masking tools in Capture One. Let's start with the radial mask. The radial gradient mask tool can be found in the layers tool by long pressing the brush cursor tool in the toolbar or by using the keyboard shortcut T. To create a mask, just click and drag on the photo and the radial mask will draw from the center. By default, the mask overlay is visible when drawing and adjusting the radial shape. To hide or show the overlay permanently, use the keyboard shortcut M. When the mask is drawn, I can adjust the size by dragging the handles. The softness I can adjust by dragging either the inner or outer circle. To move it, I simply click and drag anywhere inside the mask. To rotate the mask, just grab the middle circle. Holding down Shift when resizing a radial mask will keep the shape of the mask intact. If I hold down Alt, it will lock the opposite anchor point instead of symmetrically transforming around the center. With the mask created, I can now use different tools to edit my photo and only affect the masked area. If you apply a radial mask without any layers created, a new layer will automatically be created. If I'd like to create an additional radial mask, I first need to create another layer and add the mask to that layer. By default, the mask is drawn on the outside of the radial shape. To invert the mask to the other side, I either drag the outer circle across the middle circle and adjust, or right-click the layer and select Invert. This default behavior can be changed by right-clicking on the photo with the radial mask tool and tick Draw Mask Inside. New radial masks will now be drawn on the inside. Moving on to the Linear Gradient Mask tool, this can also be found in the Layers tool by long pressing the Brush Cursor tool in the toolbar or by pressing the keyboard shortcut L. It can be applied simply by dragging, like so. To lock the gradient to a horizontal or vertical path, hold down the Shift key while dragging. To rotate the mask, just grab the middle line. I can control the softness of the gradient by dragging the outer lines. For the gradient mask, if I hold down Shift, I can control the gradient falloff symmetrically around the center line, and if I hold down Alt, I can make asymmetrical gradients. As with the radial mask, I can now use different tools to edit my photo and only affect the masked area.